we are a nation of great diversity. We have different religions, we have different regions, we have different languages, we have different you know, customs and traditions and things of this nature. Yet, we have always been a nation. Nobody has ever made us a nation, we've been actually a nation right across. If you look back in history, Adi Shankaracharya established with Naham at Senekure in Calcutta and sorry in Canada. Then from there he went to Odisha, went to, from there, then to Madrinath on top, and to uh, in, in Gujarat, but uh, I forget the name of the place, but I'm sorry if we have died and missed that out which really meant that nobody ever thought of that I'm going to a different place. Even in those days, you were going into India, you were going into Bharat, or whatever that was called at that time. It's always been that way. I've always looked at each other as own brothers and sisters. We have continued to do that right across. Here you have a great organization of the Gandhi Ji. Mapu is here. I'm sure he's present all the time in our thoughts, in our actions, in everything that we do. A great man that this country produced to the whole world. There have been a lot of concerns about our security. I've been as I introduced you in the armed forces and have been responsible at a very high level for the security of the nation. The security, national security really, comes in two parts, external and internal. External is what we consider our borders, what we consider our things, you know, no enemy from outside should be able to, you know, attack us, should be able to do anything, and if it does, we are able to defend ourselves effectively. And internal is what you, me, and everybody who lives in this country, who is a part of this country, has to ensure that we live amicably, we live in peace and progress together. It is not the responsibility of the armed forces alone, whether external or internal. Whether in that case you internally you take the police and the other paramilitary forces or externally you look at the armed forces as such. It's the responsibility of each one of us. It's like this, I give you a small example. If you look at you, I'll show you why you bloody well attack me, I'll go for you. And that is the national way. Can we build up that way? Can we get up to that point to say we will fight? and fight what? External and any problems internally. Any problem which happens internally, whether it's religious, whether it is region-wise, whether it's language-wise, anything of that sort, we say we will fight it together and with the will to ensure that we overcome that. And particularly the armed forces feel that this is a disturbing sign which has to be ensured, met, and people made to understand that you are a part of this country and you must look at it in that way. The CA in no way, as you all know, distinguishes or differentiates or does down anybody. It's only to provide protection to those who are suffering in those three countries, which no doubt are indeed are being to Bangladesh, are being to Afghanistan. Pakistan, I have not been to, but I have met officers of theirs in Russia where I was under training for four years. They are also sent their officers there. They have a different thinking process where religion takes precedence over everything. With us, that is not the problem. Religion is your private affair. It does not come into national affairs. 
It does not happen because of that. The biggest mistake we ever made was in 1947, when we accepted division on the basis of religion. Religion can never be something that divides. Religion is something that combines. Religion is something that teaches you tolerance. Religion is something that gives you all the you know, good things to be, to be done. The new generation may have to take into their minds more because there is a tendency to drop out of the mainstream of society and get into the alternate parallel universe that is available to them, namely the social media, especially with WhatsApp and TikTok videos. There is a victor for lulliness of minds. Their attention level is no longer the same. They are not bad. The point is they are attracted by something which is taking away their energy at the stage where they have to build up themselves. So I think it's a good reminder from you that you must be self-confident and must look after yourself and ultimately not being a very important bridge in building up relations between different countries. And India has always been a gold mine and that is what brought the East India Company to India to explore and take away whatever they could, which goes on to show how rich India is in whatever we could do in our natural resources, in our human potential. Being a part of the trade and commerce has always interested us because India's image, India's market, and India's potential outside India is identified very much but efforts need to take on by Indians ourselves to push this particular country forward. The identity of an Indian has always been noticed when I was outside India more than being in the country itself. The kind of respect and the kind of privileges that... Yeah, hi everyone, Ashwant here. Hi, I'm Sonali Bhadoria. Please subscribe Swetsha TV. Stay tuned to Swetsha TV. Please do subscribe and like us Swetsha TV. Guys, do subscribe to Swetsha TV. Please do like and subscribe to Swetsha TV.